Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. for this painting and it does get painful this took me almost two weeks to finish which for something that's only 12 by 8 inches it's almost impressive how long this painting took which is also what inspired me to make this video and I wanted it to take the time to talk about why art school and really just taking art classes is important and this is from someone who has never gone and who is having a hard time because of it but first to this painting i was inspired by the girl and the pose that i saw i wanted to create my own background and color palette for it which seems simple enough i do change up my colors usually anyway but it's always on the basis of the original colors for the reference photo and this time I really had a color palette in mind which was very different and I wanted to use that for this painting and also on top of that I was feeling a little bit more ambitious by making my own background and all of this really doesn't seem that crazy but just the process and the amount of time that went into this it really was so the first thing i want to talk about is my art supplies first i'm working on my bao Hong hot pressed watercolor block just because i really like the smooth feel of it and i think it works really well with gouache and i also did the sketch with my prismacolor very thins and what what i initially wanted to do was do this whole thing with acrylic gouache because i knew there was going to be a lot of back and forth with this one i knew i was going to do a lot of thinking on the fly and changing up a few things while i was working and acrylic gouache, acrylic gouache really gives you a little bit more wiggle room to work with your mistakes when compared to regular gouache but i did end up going over it with the traditional gouache later on because just wasn't feeling it yeah, I think it's very much just dependent on my mood but I just really miss working with the smoothness and the workability of regular gouache So one of the first things that went wrong was actually the very first stage because instead of directly tracing my original digital sketch onto my watercolor paper, I ended up freehanding it so I didn't realize their proportional errors until later on and even then I still ended up going to go having to go over it again much closer to the end. So things like her legs being too long and especially her light right leg on this stage just so crazy long and I didn't notice it until after I started painting and so it was really one of those things that was really just a bad setup from the get-go. I think one of the only things I was sure about from start to the finish was the colors because I knew right away that I wanted it to be very warm and but also not very contrasty values wise so i also knew that i was gonna have to have a, a cool color in there just so i can make this whole thing work or so i can pull it off so i just decided to go with the purple for my cool colors i think it was a good choice in colors but again with the execution is when i fell short even though I did plan the general color palette before I started, I didn't really plan the details of where each color was gonna go, which ones did I want to be the mid-tones and which colors did I want to pop out. Are they gonna be a more fleshy color or is it gonna lean closer to green? 
was the, that kind of thing that I had a lot of trouble with and you can see from how much I worked on her face a lot more than the rest of her and then I also had a tro had trouble with preserving this look on her face because I really liked the expression it's very peculiar I think and I didn't want to change that in the process of me figuring out the color planning Ultimately, I did come up with something that I like with greens and purples thrown in there in anticipation for the colors that I wanted to use for the background too. But speaking of the background, i that's what I, where I really had trouble with. This is where I think my technical knowledge really fell short of achieving my creative vision. For one, I just, I'm really bad at drawing or painting leaves and flowers which is all of the background really but also I didn't have the foresight to use acrylic wash for this stage because I was thinking of blocking the background in with darker colors first with just the silhouettes of the leaves showing through before going over that with lighter colors and maybe a different silhouette of a different kind of plant and different bushes but and then go over it again with another kind of a different kind of silhouette but with the lighter colors on top of that and i think it was a good plan it really was a good plan but because i used regular gouache i kept on disturbing the layers underneath which wouldn't have happened had i used acrylic gouache because that doesn't really budge as soon as it's dry and so that technique didn't really work for this medium but other than that i also could have painted the plants better i should have been working up the details the farther i went with the layers so with the darker layers i could have gone almost a little blurry and just a hint of bushes and then go up the details the further i go on the more layers i add on but I didn't do that, I sort of did the opposite and because I used traditional wash, there was really no saving it without scrapping this whole thing and paint and trying again. And even other than those technical things that I had trouble with, I think I just had, I think I just really struggled with the vision that I had for this piece because even though I vaguely planned the background out and the color palette i didn't really plan the details so much and i feel like i was going off of what i had in my head still and the problem with that is not only is it not that poli polished what i have in my head also changes and so sometimes i'd want to really draw out the plants with a lot of details on them but on other times, I wouldn't want to overdo that because I don't plan on putting a lot more of details to the girl. So I wanted to keep that simple too. And so you can see me going back and forth with the background over there. And overall, I think a lot of what I struggled with was due to a mixture of inexperience with drawing the foliage, not having a lot of technical knowledge, but also not, not enough planning, I think. Which leads me to the point of this whole video, which is the importance of taking art classes and having proper training. A lot of the time people discredit them or say that you don't really need to take them well i i agree that you don't really need to but i feel like it's also wrong to say that they don't help you at all i feel like when someone on the internet asks um good artists if they went to 
art school and when they say they didn't I, it's almost always used as an argument against them being important and i think it's just irresponsible because we're only seeing them as they are right now we don't really see the struggles that they go through to get to where they are and i really think that with proper training is that a lot of those struggles we wouldn't really need to go through and it's not even just the technical things like knowing the properties of your art supplies and polishing up your skills i think it also just helps you navigate your way through the field and that's one thing that i really struggled with as when i really started to take art seriously just studying things for myself is knowing the right terms to describe an artwork so i know how to look more into them and really just put into words what i like about a picture so i can look more into it and maybe even replicate it later on And when I'm listening to other artists talk, it it took me a long time to figure out what they were talking about. So I had to write things down and look up their meaning before I could even describe my own artworks. And it may be a language thing because English isn't my first language, but also I really just struggled with a lot of the terminologies that you need when you are starting to get into art seriously also one other thing with this painting is that i struggled with the perspective so much because i actually wanted it to look like we the viewer are looking at the girl from a higher angle so that's why her head is a slightly bigger than her body but also i just wanted it to be subtle so i didn't really know how to translate that into the background i spent so much time just drawing people that that came it wasn't it didn't come naturally but wasn't as hard to get it right with the person than it was with the background so i'm guessing that you can also learn about in art school or just art classes that i really struggled with so i feel like if you're someone who is able to and who's trying to decide whether they should do it just go ahead and do it because it really will just make your journey a lot easier you don't have to go through the struggles that self-taught artists go through a lot of the things i learned was just from drawing things over and over again and i feel like what i know it's very singular to people and that's really the only thing i know how to draw and it's elementary level with everything else so if you are able to take classes just go for it you will really thank yourself later on maybe it could be stressful while you are on it because that's what school is it's going to be but it's gonna be but it's gonna be more stressful when you are <laughs> creating things like i am without all the good foundations that they teach you in art school so yeah for me it was very stressful i've been actually trying to shut myself out of youtube and instagram so i can focus on this and i really wanted to work on other things i was i was on facebook because that's where i talked to my husband so i really couldn't shut away shut myself away from facebook and i see my friends posting their artworks and i was just so jealous i really wanted to try other things but i know myself and i know if i start working on something else i will really just forget about this one so i really took the time to finish this but yeah i did eventually finish it and i actually did finish it by using just bright white where which i did for the flowers and her ribbons and her earrings and i think because the whole painting doesn't really have enough dynamic shifts in values that having just that bright white accents really tied the whole thing together and i did eventually end up with something that i can say that i'm proud of but it took uh, so long for me to get there so yeah that is it for this video thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed watching me struggle with this one
And now I want to take the time to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is a powerful and beautiful online platform where you can create your own website. You can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members-only content. You can also manage your members, send email communications, and leverage revenue insights in one easy-to-use platform. You can display your social media posts on your website and automatically post your website content onto your social media platform so your followers can see and share them too. And if you're someone like me who's been trying to build their portfolio, you can present your work with Squarespace where they're very professional looking portfolio designs. They have very customizable galleries and you can even have password protected galleries which is great for when you're ready to do commissions. Image blocks automatically scales and displays your images to make sure they always look right regardless of their place in your contents. So to do that, just double click on an image to get an overlay of the full image itself and then drag that to ensure the best crop for your artworks or for your images. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash hamribart so you can get 10% off of your purchase of a website domain. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I will be seeing you again soon.